Welcome back on Adobe Live, here live from OFF in Barcelona, OFF 2019. How many OFFs have you been to, James? Yeah, I, I don't, I forgot. Yeah, six, <laughs> me seven, seven, seven here. <laughs> seven, six or seven, maybe? So for the next 25 minutes, I'm here with James Victoria, and we're going to be talking about having a damn opinion, and also your book. My new book. Your, your new book. Yeah, we yeah. got to talk about the book. My answer for everything these days is, my new book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, you know what, let's, let's dive right into your new book. Let's, let's dive. Let's, let's, let's start, let's start from, um, from, yeah. So how do you pronounce that? Feck Perfection. <laughs> I know, it's the worst title in the world. It's hard to say and hard to spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every time I type uh -huh. it, yeah, yeah. I, I type it, it wrong. It like autocorrects it yeah, correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Feck Perfection. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I like puns. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, so it's a pun. I've been making puns and wordplay since I was a kid, so. Is there another pun There's. that you like? No, they're, they're all in the book. <laughs> they're all in the book, okay, so read the book. <laughs> so, basically, um, what is this book about? This book is a collection of 80, it's, it's everything I use and everything I teach and everything I've learned in order to get out of bed hungry and horny, uh, excited to do work, uh, how to deal with clients, how to deal with reality, um, and everything, that it, everything it takes to be creative, a creative individual. It's hard to be creative. Yeah. It's hard to like grow up creative mm -hmm. and maintain that mm -hmm. and then we get into the professional realm and it's even harder because then we take creativity and we mix it with mm -hmm. with commerce and it gets yeah. a little misty. You know, one of the things that I hear very frequently and which also happened to me when I was about 14, 15, my teachers would say, oh, you'll never be a designer, they give up, you know, yeah. Amazing. And, and, and they were telling my parents, oh, he, he's kind of be a banker, he kind of be a chocolate elm Swiss. <laughs> you know, <so>. Chocolate year. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I basically we had to go undergo some psychological tests, and what came out is oh, the only way, the only job Rufus can do is actually work on, on the railway and clean the railways. Oh, yeah. Damn. So thank God I had parents that uh, that said you know, fuck that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, and sent me off to uh, you know like to other schools and. Um, and, I have uh, so many stories like that that mm. um, they didn't have your parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And just squashed, mm -hmm. just killed their creativity yeah, 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 right yeah, in front yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's difficult. When I was a, when I was a kid, and I love any story that starts mm -hmm. when I was a kid. When I was a kid. When I was a kid, <laughs> I was called creative. Uh-huh. In the house, in school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> and I knew it wasn't a compliment. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. It right? Was, yeah. It, it was like that means he's special, he mm -hmm. has special yeah. needs. And then I taught at university for 25 years, uh -huh. and I, you know, truthfully, I didn't want creative individuals in my classroom uh -huh, uh -huh. because they disrupt. <laughs> yeah, that's the, right. that's, that's creativity's yeah, job uh -huh, uh -huh. is to disrupt. So mm -hmm. it's an yeah. odd cat. It's, yeah, I was, it's a funny I was thing. Rufus the poet. Ah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds yeah. totally sexy. Yeah, and I, I know there's there's a lot of people like that struggle with that on a daily basis out there. And uh, and yeah, and like my advice is like never give up, you know, like b go for it. The uh, the first line in the book says we are all mm -hmm. born wildly creative. Mm -hmm. Some of us just forgot. Yeah, or it was suppressed. Yeah, suppressed, or we give it away mm -hmm. in order to fit in. Yeah. Yeah. There's hey, a lot of fan. lot of people. Oh, big fans <laughs> of James here. <laughs> so, uh, so you said there's about 80 different chapters. Yeah, I think 80, 76. Okay. So, what other chapters like would you want to share with our um, audience? <clears throat> there are three main ideas and I think in um, I think they all happen in the beginning in the mm -hmm. in, a, in, a, in, a, in a section called voice mm -hmm. because understanding your voice and understanding who you are and understanding the potential that we have as creative individuals is super important and super powerful and it goes like this the first idea is that talk about when I was a kid the things that made you weird mm -hmm. as a kid make you great today. Mm -hmm. And if you can hold on to that and you can maintain that, and for these people, if they can, they can remember that mm -hmm. and what brought them to the table in the first place, mm -hmm. you know, and understand that there's power in that. Mm -hmm. That's their voice. Mm -hmm. The second idea is, it, um, and it comes from a number of different sources, it says, um, in the particular lies the universal, which means the things that I love and the things that I fear mm -hmm. are the things everybody else loves and fears. Mm -hmm. The things that make 
that have meaning to me have meaning to other people. Mm -hmm. And if I can understand that and I can tell my own story with authenticity and be as vulnerable as possible, mm -hmm. then it will have meaning mm -hmm. to others. Most people, what they do creatively is they go, the first thing they ask when they're given a brief or given a job or whatever is they say, what do people want? Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> you can't do that uh -huh. because you're always going to be chasing yeah. that thing. Mm -hmm. You now, when you understand that in a particular lies the universal, you now have the power to understand that you get to ask yourself, what do I want to say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's completely different. Yeah. What do I have to say? And this is something that I repeat very often also when I, what, when I look at portfolios and things like that, is that there, there's too many things happening and I, my advice is always like, focus on the things you really love and just show those because this is what people will be looking for yeah. when they come looking for you. Yes. Um, if you show all the other stuff, of stuff maybe you don't even like doing, uh, people might come by yeah. and say, hey. You you, know, if you do mm -hmm. shit, you're going to get paid to do shit. Yeah, yeah exactly. of course. Yeah. Um, and the, I think the third part is like, first understanding that, you know, the things that made you weird as a mm -hmm. kid, and then in a particular lies the universal. And the last part is super important. It's called put it in your work. Uh -huh. Put it in your work. <laughs> Don't just like understand this and go, oh, okay, great, now I'm going to paint on the weekends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, put it in your work. Mm -hmm. Do you have like examples of that? Sure, uh, there's numerous examples of, you know, um, uh, on the large scale is Frank Gehry and his crazy mm -hmm. architecture. Who mm -hmm. would have thought to, you know, to, to do that, to mm -hmm. move forward in that way? Um, I think my dear pal in back in New York, Stefan Sagmeister, mm -hmm. What he does is who he is. Mm -hmm. It's just he put it into the work. I mean, yeah. he, we would have lunch together, and we, we, the, 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 the story goes like this. Like, like we would be talking about mm -hmm. projects. Mm -hmm. And this is, how, this is how creativity happens. Like, you're hanging out with a friend mm -hmm. at a bar, talking about work, and you get to a point, maybe it's after a beer or something, you get to a point and, you're, and, you're saying, and you go, you're thinking about work and you go, oh. Uh, <laughs> you know, it would yeah. be really yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. That. That. Do that. Do it, yeah. That's the thing. So put so many, it in your work. So many things that people say, oh, that wouldn't it be cool? And then, and then they don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> because what they, what, creatively what you're doing, what you're trying to do is search for the right answer. But mm -hmm. there is no right answer. Mm -hmm. There's your answer. Yeah. By the way, uh, Stefan was here last, last year, right here. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so. Hi, Stefan. Hi, Stefan. So, um, <laughs> But yeah, put it in your work because the thing is, if you don't do this, if you don't practice this mm -hmm. and start early, people say, oh, well, you're James Victoria. I'm like, no, mm -hmm. I've always practiced yeah, like yeah. this. To become James mm -hmm. Victoria is if you don't practice like this, then you will never learn the power mm -hmm. of your voice. I think that's a super important point here um, because many people think that success is almost like can be immediate and it's not. <laughs> It takes it takes time. It takes work. It takes dedication. Yeah, balls, and, guts, grit. Yeah, yeah. Like, for example, how long did it take you to, to find your voice, to um, to find your direction, and to become successful at it? I started working when I was twenty one mm -hmm. professionally, yeah. and for the first three or four years. I was doing what I thought was supposed to be. I was m working mostly in book jackets. So I'd go to the bookstore to mm -hmm. see what book jackets look mm -hmm. like, right? Yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then I started getting paid well. I started like, was making money. I bought my, f I was wearing silk suits. Mm -hmm. I bought my first motorcycle cash, you know? And I got cocky. Uh -uh. And I thought, uh -huh. hey, wait a minute. I've got my own sense of humor, my own sense of timing and proportion mm -hmm. and scale and color. And, uh -huh, uh -huh. and I wanted to put that mm -hmm. in the work. And what mm -hmm. happened is my work immediately dropped. Nobody wanted mm -hmm. to work with me because I was doing things mm -hmm. that were quote unquote mm -hmm. dangerous. Mm -hmm. They didn't know what to expect. And you know what I had to do is I had to go find my clients mm -hmm. after that, find yeah. the people who would work with me. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and that's when it became interesting and that's mm -hmm. when I started finding my yeah. voice. When I, when I had clients who allowed me to, to push mm -hmm. and say, listen, if I'm not pushing yeah. myself creatively and you mm -hmm. creatively and professionally, then I'm not doing my job. Yeah, and we're not moving ahead <laughs> and this is also very important like you know don't hesitate like to to follow to like to chase your your the customers or the the um, the, um, the people you would like to work for you know eventually something can happen and uh, it, you know if if you're if you're strong if you're if you're consistent if you if you know if you if you believe in yourself you know most of these things can happen well yeah trusting trusting yourself is really difficult mm -hmm. and there's a chapter in the book uh, and it says Ask for what you want. Mm -hmm. No, it says actually, it's ask for more. Mm -hmm. 
You know, always ask for more. Mm -hmm. You know, if you call me for a job, the first thing I'm going to do is ask for more money. It's just that's <laughs> how it works, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask for more uh -huh. and ask for what you want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, because if you start settling low, you're telling the universe that you're not worthy. You're telling the universe mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. like, oh, I'll settle for, yeah, 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 you know? Yeah, yeah. What you have to do is you have to be able to tell your body mm -hmm. and your cells, and then you tell your friends, mm -hmm. and then you tell, you know, through Instagram yeah. or through whatever, your website, your blog, mm -hmm. you tell the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the universe goes, oh, so, he wants it. So this, of course, is, uh, is something that you attain with, with time, with experience, with, uh, um, and, you know, in guts, at, at a certain point, you just have to say, okay, enough of that. You know, like, I'm not doing anything cheap anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to undersell myself. Um, and that point is really hard to, to, to cross. But you have to have the guts to do it. Yeah. Because uh, in the beginning, I know, you know, when you're a student, when you just started, um, you know, it's, It's hard to to listen to you know to to you for example or or myself say you know let, let just go for it and don't under you know don't 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 do things yeah. for little money and stuff like that but you know people would say but I have to start somewhere you know and of course you know you have to start somewhere but then there comes a point when you know you understand that okay I found my voice mm -hmm. chapter one yeah <laughs> and then um, and then to uh, yeah. Yeah, so you find your voice, and then, of course, fear kicks in because you're, yeah. now you're like, uh-oh, now I have to put yeah. it out into mm -hmm. the world, yeah. and someone might not like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know yeah. what? I got news for you. Mm -hmm. Somebody's not going <laughs> to like it. That's just how it works. Yeah, not uh, everybody uh, likes uh, 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 sake or mm -hmm. grappa or, yeah. you know, even pizza. Uh, uh. And Aditi <laughs> is saying, how do I believe in myself without depending on external validation? That's trusting yourself. And mm -hmm. when you start looking outside is where trouble begins mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because, because uh, it will never you will always have to depend on mm -hmm. other people, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's just learning to love yourself and mm -hmm. learning to trust your vision and trust mm -hmm. um, that what you're doing is right. And if you're making bad work, mm -hmm. keep making bad work mm -hmm. until it turns into good work. Mm -hmm. You know, in my first book, uh, it's called Victoria, Who Died and Made mm -hmm. You Boss, we put a section in there of the very first things that I was making mm -hmm. to prove that I didn't just come out of the shell. Yeah good mm -hmm. you know i had to suffer i had mm -hmm. to go through that process yeah, yeah, and yeah, find yeah. that mm -hmm. voice so yeah. so just keep just keep going yeah like i always give the example like i start i started doing business cards for my tattoo artist friends and the <laughs> local pub you know you have to start somewhere yeah. and then you know you, it, things happen exactly. and uh mathieu from paris says hi james oh mathieu yeah, from How are you doing? Agence Betsy. yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome guy and, love yeah. you dude yeah so validation uh, of course you know like that There's different flavors of validation. Okay, there's, oh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah. That's useless validation. Yeah. Um, but sometimes validation also comes in, in the trust that people give you to do other things. And I think that's the, that's the most valuable validation is trust. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a chapter in the book called Trust as Inspiration. Okay. So there's a client that I work for in London, and they, they're, a, they're a, 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 a publisher, and mm -hmm. I do all of, all of their work. They came to me with a very small budget, but I knew them, mm -hmm. and I liked what they were doing, and I wanted them to have good work. Mm -hmm. So they said, um, you know, we want you to design a, the series look and mm -hmm. all of the books. Mm -hmm. And I said, um, I knew the budget, and I said, okay, I'll do the work, mm -hmm. but here's how it goes. Mm -hmm. so because of the budget, you have no say whatsoever mm -hmm. creatively. Mm -hmm. Like, what I make, you print. Mm -hmm. And they said, That makes us nervous. <laughs> yeah. And when the first five books come, came out, now it's like 40 books, I don't mm -hmm. know how many, it's like a bunch of books. Um, the first five books came out, they wrote on their blog, they said, James Victoria asked us to trust him, mm -hmm. and we're glad that we did. Mm -hmm. Good. And recently, there was a situation where I was uh, working with that very kind of strict theme mm -hmm. and kind of playing with it and kind of trying to change it, let it grow. And they said, nah, 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 nah. right? And I said, listen, if I'm not yeah, pushing yeah, myself, yeah. if I'm remember, not... Remember what we said years right. back, yeah. And I said, I said, you know, listen, I'm not, if I'm not pushing you, I'm not doing my job. Uh -huh, and they uh -huh. wrote back and said, mm -hmm. thank you for pushing me, mm -hmm. nobody else does. So we think we know our clients, mm -hmm. you know? But clients are just as afraid as you are. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. Just looking if there's any questions here. Uh, yeah, right, right. Um, oh, no, Liz is answering to somebody else. I like to be a multi-hyphenate, multi-faceted creative person with many different occupations. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How do I do that without being perceived as jack of all trades, yeah. master of none? Yeah, yeah. it's hard. Mm, it's hard. hard. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, 
it's difficult because the, the easiest thing is to do one thing and do mm -hmm. it well. I'm not good at doing mm -hmm. one thing, and mm -hmm. I like to do a lot of different yeah, things, yeah, yeah. you know? I'm, I'm writing a book. I'm a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm an artist. I don't mm -hmm. wait for a client to come to me. So um, I think the best thing is to is is these days you don't, when I first started out, you needed, you know, you needed four or five solid clients. Mm -hmm. Now you need you need an audience, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you deal directly to that audience, yeah, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. kind of mm -hmm. groovy. It's yeah, kind of yeah. great. You cut yeah, out the yeah. middleman. I mean, many things change. Because the middleman, the you know, the, the client, unless you find a client that trusts you, mm -hmm. is basically going to start keep keep pulling down at your ankles, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I've I've been extremely lucky mm -hmm. in my career that I've had you know amazing clients that mm -hmm. I've worked for, and they you know we grow together. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it yeah. doesn't always work that way. No, no. So well, and do. You, do you advertise yourself as a jack of all trades, or do you separate the things? Because I think that's always interesting to do. Like what I, the advice I give on, also on portfolios and things is like, don't show in a portfolio that you can do a gazillion things. Like for example, if I go interview with you, you know, for an illustration job, mm -hmm. okay? You don't want to see my web design. You don't no. want to see my no. my filmmaking. Yeah, get to the yeah, point. Yeah, get to the point. So I'm always saying that like focus on the things you really want to do and separate those. Um, to not really like, like Aditi. That's a that's a very good point. You, you, the the what you don't want to do is being perceived as a jack of all trades. You need to be perceived as somebody who does something well, and mm -hmm. that can be many different things. I think. As I think I think you can do many different things as long as one voice comes through, mm -hmm. and that's yeah, the thing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, think that's, mm -hmm. I think that's what I do. I think that's what you know. Um, um, a lot of different designers do who you know who illustrate who. Um, uh, push their work into architecture, mm -hmm. push their work into different venues, mm -hmm. is just, you know, having a voice through, yeah, yeah. coming through. Just, do you have any examples of, of your designs on, on your on your web page here? Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. design yeah, work. Yeah, 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 design work. Oh, the book, first Booyah. position. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah this. Mm -hmm. That was the publisher on the bottom. Um, <clears throat> but this is, this is us doing, you know, basically an interior for... Um, the Department of Probation in New York City. I remember City. that. Yeah, 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 this was a, this yeah, was a yeah. crazy mm -hmm. job mm -hmm. where <clears throat> they asked us first for that thin veneer of graphic design, mm -hmm. meaning color and typography, mm -hmm. and we kind of said, I think this audience, you know, probationers, mm -hmm. I think this audience needs art in yeah. their lives. Mm -hmm. So we did these kind of fake... Mm -hmm. um, so uh, probation, just for our international audience, that's when... That's when you go to New York City and you screwed up. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. it's like not so in prison. You're not but in, you didn't screw up bad <laughs> enough to go to jail, but you got you have to uh -huh. report to yeah. a probation mm -hmm. office mm -hmm. every week or mm -hmm. a couple times a month or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, um, we wanted to put art in these people's mm -hmm. lives, but we wanted to put, like, we made a series of um, fake inspirational, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but real inspirational, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? They were like uh -huh. plays on the, the Jets like that the say Golden teamwork, Gate Red, yeah, like you know, all that <laughs> stuff, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, you know, this kind of stuff. Oh, a we, little, some, something to, oh, yeah, to yeah, read all, as well. All, yeah. mm -hmm. all uh, what do they call them, Easter eggs all over. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the idea was that um, I wanted to speak here. I wanted, mm -hmm. to, I wanted to rise up mm -hmm. to this audience. Mm -hmm. I wanted to t t deal with them as a, um, put things in that they would, um, um, that would reward their intelligence and mm -hmm. not talk down to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I, know? Think that's, I think that's the most important part for parolees that, like, no, not on parole, on, uh, like, mm -hmm. yeah, parole, parole. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is that, yeah, that they're not treated as... <clears throat> What happened in this? What happened in this is once we did these interiors, mm -hmm. is the, the the doors would open and mm -hmm. the, the probationers would walk out into the in, into mm -hmm. the office, and look around and then walk back mm -hmm. so and let the, the doors right, close. Am I in the right office? <laughs> because they didn't know they were in the right place. Because they've never been treated that well. Mm -hmm. They've never yeah, had a nice mm -hmm. place to show up yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've never been spoken to mm -hmm. honestly and directly. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So it's crazy. And in this, after this project, after this huge project, I did a number of interviews. Hi! <laughs> and in the interviews, they always asked me, well, you know, Mr. Victoria, what research did you do? And I always said, what? research? <laughs> What's that? I don't uh, have to research mm, to do mm, this. Mm -hmm. These people are the same as me. Mm -hmm. They want the same thing. They want to show up in nice places. They want to be treated mm -hmm. with respect. Yeah, yeah. They, want to, they want to have nice things that, 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 that reward them. That, I don't have to do research for that. So you can almost say that your your first tool is actually empathy. Yeah, that be yeah. Let me write that down. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on a new book now. All right. So. All right. Okay. Oh. So, yeah. 
Can you, you can work? coach me. Yeah. Yeah. Your first tool is empathy, James. <laughs> 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 yeah, so yeah, empathy. And that, that, I think that's a great example of, of empathy going into design and solving a problem and making people feel good. <laughs> just being honest, just being mm -hmm. human and, uh, and being somewhat vulnerable. Mm -hmm. um, and it was funny because we had ribbon, open, ribbon ceremonies for mm -hmm. the openings of the office. And in one of the ribbon ceremonies, the, the, um, the director of the DOP, um, uh, Vince uh, Schiraldi, he said, uh, he said, it's James here. Mm. He says, they, they questioned putting the, <clears throat> these little paragraphs of, uh -huh, of text uh -huh, yeah. on there. And he said, the probationers, uh, he says, there was, uh, he says, I was visiting uh, one in Brooklyn, and he says, the guy's bent over and he's re reading the type, mm -hmm. and he stands up, he looks at his probation officer, and he says, that's what I think. <laughs> Because in the particular lies yeah, yeah, the universal. Uh -huh, yeah. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to make anything up. Yeah, I just yeah, had yeah. to speak honestly about mm -hmm. what I think about um, changing the world, or mm -hmm. what I think about um, there are no rules, yeah. or what I think about you know asking mm -hmm. for help. Mm -hmm. Just try to be honest. Um, Stefano Di Puma asks how to get to the point with different professions at the same time without feeling fragmented. Mm, that's well, right. that's a great mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. Stop feeling fragmented. Yeah. How about that? There's yeah. the there's the answer. <laughs> just stop. Stop uh -huh. feeling like that. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that's the thing, is like your emotions are clogging, yeah. you know? Th yeah, and I think, you know, all the things you do actually have one goal, right? So mm, it's like, yeah, it's like, put, take these fragments together and put the pieces together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so funny. We, you're, you're, the answer is always in the question, <laughs> you know? I, stop feeling like you're uh -huh. fragmented. Uh -huh. How about just start feeling like you're professional? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I used to think I, used to think I was, I was um, Procrastinator. I used to think I used to have all these, and now I'm like, this is that's my mo. This is just who I, I am. I know I'm a procrastinator, <laughs> <laughs> and I've never been late. I've always been on oh, time. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It, yeah. Thing, it, it yeah, works yeah. out mm -hmm. somehow. So we just have a few more minutes. So I'm just gonna go back to this. Back to the book. Yeah. One last comment about your book, apart from buy it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, the comment is go try to buy it because the, oh, oh, the publisher damn. underestimated um, <laughs> me. <laughs> and it sold out. Okay. And they put more printings in, and those mm -hmm. sold out. So they're printing more books. I'm getting, getting people writing me from Europe and Spain mm -hmm. saying, hey, I ordered it, and I can't find mm -hmm. a book. And um, Amazon mm -hmm. says, uh, out of stock, it prints, it'll ship in one to three months. So uh -huh. it's just like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. super frustrating right now. So uh, Well, it's kind of be to the point with the title, right? Yeah. It can't be perfect. It ain't going to you know? be perfect. <laughs> it's not going to be perfect. And the fact perfection <laughs> thing is not about not being perfect. It's not about being sloppy mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. or, or messy. It's, mm -hmm. it's about doing your best work and not feeling fragmented. Mm -hmm. Doing your best work and not you know, conflicted. Mm -hmm. Doing your best work and not feeling like I'm letting my parents down or blah, mm -hmm. you know, all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just about, it's about, it's about being confident and moving forward and, mm -hmm. and, and just trying to live a creative, healthy life. Cool. James, with that, we're going to say Rufus. bye to our audience. It was Thanks, great to be dude. with you. Thanks for swinging it's by. It's great to be with me. Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, we're going to be right back with a neuroscientist here on Adobe Live. And we're going to be talking about the brain waves of creativity. Brain waves. Yep. So stay tuned. We're going to be back in five minutes. Yeah, stay out of your head, too. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>